Hey everybody, it's Christine from Love of Reborns 13 here. Um, hope everybody's doing good. I am here with my boy again. I just love this guy so much. He is Reggie. He is, or Reginald. He is the Pip Sculpt by Cassie Brace and he was reborn by Paper City Dolls. And I'm just gonna put him in another onesie that came with this set. Um, so this one was really cute with like, um, kind of that taupey brown um, heathering in the background and then you had the gray stripes and then different um, designs of dinosaur theme. This one's more of a cream colored with the charcoal gray and then the dinosaurs have um, just a black outlining. And it's still pretty warm out so I figured why not stick to a onesie. So I apologize I haven't been around. I actually Today is Sunday, so Friday I was feeling really funky all day. Thursday I had third night I had a headache. And then Friday woke up. I actually got sick, just a little. Figured it was the coffee I had or something just didn't sit in my stomach right. And then I felt off throughout the day. And then right around four o'clock or so, I got sick. And um it was not not fun. Um, so I apparently had a had caught some kind of stomach bug and rested a lot the rest of Friday. And then um, Saturday, I pretty much had to rest the day because the, the nausea feeling just stayed and it just lingered and it was just terrible. Um, and I woke up this morning feeling exactly like myself. So, yeah, it was a little good 24, 48-hour thing or so. And a little 24, 36 hours, I would say. And it's gone now. But that was not fun. <laughs> so I didn't do any reborn anything. I didn't take any pictures. I didn't, I didn't do anything. I was just not feeling good. So apologies for not being around. I promise there was a reason. So, and, uh, yeah, what else? So... Let me get him in the picture a little better. And I'm going to keep his socks off for now just because I just love his look at his little. I love how this foot, like, the way the, turl, the toes, like, curl back, like, and then these are curled in. It's just so cute. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. So I'm glad I feel better. Well, obviously I'm glad I feel better, but I'm glad I feel better now because tomorrow is my birthday. So I'm really excited. Some years I'm not so excited about my birthday just because it's like when you hit a certain point and you're getting older. I think that kind of sometimes happens. Um, or at least it does for me. But I'm really excited this year. So nothing majorly special, although it's going to be super fun. So it is special. So I know the kids and uh, my husband are going to make breakfast. And then we get to have, eat. A, well, we're going to order food from one of my favorite restaurants. Because, you know, you can't eat at the restaurant. But, um order food from my favorite restaurant and they want to bake me a cake so I was like that's so cool I'm so excited it's like I love I love when my kids bake me something like that like they want to make something so they've they've baked me a cake one other year and I I just loved it because they got so excited about all the toppings and they'll show me I put this on there and I put that on there and I love baking cakes with the kids like we did one for Easter and we did this like crazy pink cake with like not crazy pink it was it looked the cake looked crazy-ish after kind of looked like a watermelon it was pink strawberry cake and then on the outside we did like like total green frosting and like all these different color sprinkles it was like the craziest looking cake ever and I was so excited about it and it tasted really good so we had a blast doing that they helped me you know do the frosting and do the toppings and it was just cool so they get to do that tomorrow and they're excited and then we get to eat it, which is even more exciting. <laughs> if I was one of the kids, that's what I'd be saying. So, yeah. yeah. Although mommy is very excited to eat cake. I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> so that's kind of, should I put a socks on guys? You know what? Yeah. I just feel like preemies and socks. I'm going to put the socks on. Let me get his passy. There we go. And they did give me my birthday present early. Um, it came in the mail early and it was so cute. The, my So I'm really terrible with surprises. I'm absolutely terrible with it. 
Um, I do not like being surprised. <laughs> I like just knowing what's happening. Um, and so my husband was leaving for work and the, the box came and my son go, my husband's like, you know, don't open the box. You have to wait to your birthday. I'm like, okay, whatever. I thought it was something for him that he ordered because it's, it was from Amazon and, uh, we, we use what we use under his name for Amazon. And my son goes, I know what it is, but I forgot the name. And I went, okay. And then he goes, if you want to open it, you can. And I, and I'm like, no, 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 that's okay. And he said, you, you know, but then you won't have anything for your birthday. I said, you're right, buddy. So if you want me to wait, I will wait. I'm totally fine with that. And then he kept going like, well, I mean, if you want to open it. And I said, no, 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 no. Mommy's going to wait. And then he kind of looked at me again and he was like, okay, but if you really, really want to open it and he just kept pushing. So I said, buddy, I am totally fine. Um, you know, whatever, whatever you'd like me to do, I will do it. And then I hear him go, I'm just so excited for you to open it. So apparently the gene of the genes that I have where I don't like surprises and I like to just open whatever it is, I passed on to my son. <laughs> I finally said, would you like me to open it? Because I will open it. So I got my birthday present early. I'll show you guys. Um, and then it actually led to something else. So I'll show you what it is. And it is, if you were a kid in the 90s, you will definitely know what this is. But this is a Tamagotchi. Um, it's a Generation 1. And it um, it's a virtual pet virtual di digital pet thing and uh it's really really cute and I got really excited because I saw that they came back like two years ago and I was like I need to get one so I said I want a Tamagotchi so bad and sure enough they went and got me the Tamagotchi and so I was really excited so yeah just those little things like you know you could feed it a snack and he eats <laughs> and then it grows and grows and the way you take care of it determines how it grows so I was super stoked and then I got really interested in it and so it made me like investigate more and like look at what these other ones were and how there's new ones and um it continued to be you know to to grow in Japan all these years and there was all these different models and stuff and I've been watching YouTube videos on it and got me really excited because I still love the digital pets I used to have giga pets but I still I loved them I had so many I just didn't realize they were like a thing and so I decided to look into it more and I ended up with um, some birthday money. Um, my dad still sends me birthday money. I wound up getting a Tamagotchi on and it's a colored screen and they do a lot more things. And I was really excited to get this and I have a feeling this is gonna become a new hobby for me. Um, not that I'm leaving the Reborn hobby, I love my Reborns. Um, but I have a feeling I might collect some more Tamagotchis. So that's kind of cool. So I don't know. I probably won't. Um, maybe sometimes if you guys, you know, leave in the comments if you'd like to see me just show you those from time to time. I will um, if something new happens with them. But this is, I always saw this as a reborn channel. So I kind of intend to keep it that way. Um, but if in the comments, just let me know if you would like mind seeing some of that. If I like something changes with the game or if I get a new one, I get all excited. Let me know in the comments if you'd want to see that. But um, I plan on keeping this still, like I said, a Reborn channel. It is called Love of Reborn. So, I mean, I probably will keep it that way. Um, Love of Reborn's 13, that is. Um, so, yeah. So, I, and then, of course, my kiddos have, each have allowances and they've been saving up and they both wanted the Tamagotchi of their own. So, each of them got ones like these. Of their own today so that came in the mail so they were super super excited so it was just really cute um and these have been kind of fun to play with while i've been sick while i didn't want to hold my reborns when i was sick because i i'm kind of i always i never usually do when i'm sick i don't hold my reborns i don't know why i don't know if i worry that i'll like transfer into the cloth of the body or something i don't know what i'm thinking but i just never do so but now i feel better so i grabbed mr reggie here and how I love this, it came with him um, from the artist, from Tammy. And I love how this locks in with this, like, clear piece. 
and then it just shoots up. And then what I especially love about this is how this, it has like, it, um, I'm pretty sure you can put this on any kind, I'm guessing. Yes. And it just allows it to spin. So you're not like worried if it goes on like this, it's not going to look like that. And then you have to reset it. You could literally just spin that. And then that piece is down. So I really, really like that. Or if I have it clipped a certain way, it's really easy for me to have it say mommy the right way up. So I like, I love this little passy clip for him. So, all right guys. So that's about it. I'm um, sorry for all the rambling, but hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's healthy and I will definitely talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.